Ladies and gentlemen, live from the top of the food chain, Brooklyn, New York. A new day has arrived in cable TV. Strap yourselves in for a fun ride. It's the Cyclone Variety Show. Now here's your host, the always unflappable Cyclone. Thank you, Chucky. And there's great reason to be excited. Why, you ask? Because Charlie Hunam has pulled out of the role of Mr. Big in the upcoming movie Fifty Shades of Grey. The good news, the even better news, the incredible news, they have asked me to replace him. <laughs> yes, I am the new Mr. Grey. The only problem is they're renaming the movie Fifty Shades of Bacon. <laughs> Speaking of that thing, I recently got a very large residual check. I'm talking a monstrous sum. It was a whole 87 cents. <laughs> I guess with that money, I could maybe possibly finally pay off all my medical bills. You know, I recently, and I talk a lot about things that I hate. Let's add one more to that list, shall we? Let's try adding, oh, phone tech support. I recently called them and I said that I needed to block a phone number from a stalker calling me. Yes, even I get pity stalkers once in a while. <laughs> so I, I need the number blocked. And the operator says to me, um, you know, I just came back from vacation and I don't know how to do that. And I, I'm like in shock. I, I, I'm stunned. I'm like, then how are you qualified to be tech support? And she, she actually angrily says to me, excuse me, excuse me, but I am absolutely qualified to be tech support. So I say, honey, look, you're as qualified to do tech support as I am to be a dietitian. <laughs> People say pr some pretty incredible stuff. Take Chris Brown, for example. Recently, he said that he lost his virginity when he was eight years old to a 14-year-old girl. Now, I'm not calling him a liar or anything, but the only thing that I lost when I was eight years old was my bike. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's face facts, folks. I sold the bike for parts, and with the money, I bought sugar and candy, and then all I was doing was losing my teeth. <laughs> Have you guys seen the interview Kanye West recently did on Jimmy Kimmel? It was incredible, and I can't believe they actually had that sit-down meeting. Um, Kanye West said to Jimmy that his fiance, Kim Kardashian, absolutely deserves a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Well, not for nothing. If she deserves a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, I happen to deserve to be GQ Sexiest Man of the Year, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and just the other day, I was walking through JCPenney, and I had to go use the restroom. Now, the restrooms happen to be in the women's undergarment department. So I'm walking past this mother and her young child, and as I, right about the time I cross their path, the little boy pulls down the panties off the mannequin and goes, look, mommy, that tushy doesn't look nothing <laughs> like this. <laughs> I don't know, I think that kid is losing a couple of his own teeth and possibly his PlayStation 3. So let me ask you guys a question. Are you guys ready for a very interesting show? Because I know it's going to be one. I know I am, and I hope to God you are too. Because here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, first guest is a brand new young musician taking his very first steps to the world of fame, Mr. Alexander Kristoff. Are we have to get our 
each other I can hold my heart to so good and so nice I can't believe it was the end of the summer Cold August is waiting me over the ocean I know this fall is gonna be so sad Can't get through the freaking emotions I fell in love with a girl so bad Why do I always do shit like that? No matter how loud I scream my lungs out to say how I wanna be next to you now Me and speak on single flow But no one knows what I want to Wherever you are We feel we breathe in a beat Thousands of miles away from me You hear my voice New York City is empty without you I feel empty without you Stars first kiss and fireworks. This could happen to us just once. Beside, we were laughing and making fun as strangers. We both were so in at night. We both knew how this game can be dangerous. But like glowers, we flew on the light. We burned, baby. We cursed to laugh. No matter how loud I scream, my lungs out to say how. I wanna be next to you now Millions people single flower But no one knows what I want to Wherever you are We feel we breathe in a beat Thousands miles away from me You hear my voice New York City is empty without you I feel empty without you To say how I want to be next to you now Millions people single flow But no one knows what I want to Wherever you are We feel we breathe in a beat Thousands of miles away from me You hear my voice New York City's empty without you I feel so empty without you Wow, Andrew, that was really great. You think you could come back and play another song a little bit later? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. And now, here is a hilarious young woman, Miss Devin Crum. So I was looking at a bottle of orange soda today, and I was looking at it, and I was like, ugh, I can't believe I put this crazy colored stuff inside me which is also what I said the first time I banged a black dude. <laughs> um, I have a really dark sense of humor, and like sometimes I forget that most people don't have my same sense of humor. Like I was on a cruise two summers ago, and it was like a family cruise, so there was all these kids, all these old people, and I'm wasted, and there's a belly flop contest going on, and so I'm like, hell yeah, I can win that. So, I think it's hilarious I do that. <laughs> <laughs> right before I <laughs> pregnant. Needless to say, I did not win that contest, but I did win most likely to be thrown overboard and viciously raped by sharks. <laughs> um, I watch like, way too much TV also. Uh, and I really like the like murder documentaries. Um, Yesterday I saw this one and this lady was bludgeoned to death. 
and the FBI found semen on her dead body. And the semen was put there prior to her being dead. Now the woman cop was like, oh my God, it was the husband. It was totally the husband who did this. And you could see it. All three male cops were like, this was not the husband. Do you really think after 24 years of marriage and five children that he'd actually be able to finish on his wife's body prior to her being dead? (laughs) (laughs) Um, uh, So I I watch the news a lot, which is an awful thing to do. Uh, And I saw this news report the other day, and this lady was talking about this serial rapist in California. He's raped like 30-some women, never been caught. And she referred to him as the worst serial rapist that California has ever seen. But wouldn't he be the best? Because <laughs> <laughs> it seems like the worst serial rapist would be like, um, excuse me, ma'am, can I force my, no? Pardon me, man. <laughs> <Moment of time. laughs> All his buddies are like, dude, you fucking suck at rape. <laughs> um, I have a really embarrassing story that I'm going to share with you guys. I actually peed in my bed. I'm <laughs> <laughs> five years old. And I was wasted, right? And I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh my God. Please tell me there's a beer can laying next to me. Ah, oh, this is totally pee. And like it would have been really funny had it not wind up costing me nine hundred dollars. It was the second most expensive pee, next to R. Kelly's peeing on that fifteen. <laughs> because I had peed directly into my big beautiful laptop computer, which I was spooning. <laughs> So then you go to the Apple store, look a guy in the eye who claims to be a genius and tell him my story. And I was like trying to get around it, like, oh, it's just liquid, (laughs) just fix it, it's just liquid. He was like, ma'am, I need to know like what kind of liquid it is because we can do different things for different kinds of liquid. And I was like, okay, well, it's probably mostly Jack Daniels. Maybe like a little bit of like kidney enzymes. And he was like, what, ma'am? And I was like, dude, I peed on this. <laughs> <laughs> I peed on this. <laughs> <laughs> Restart it and fix it and open it up. There's going to be like midget porn or something weird on it because I'm really weird when I'm drunk. I'm not proud of it either. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Devin. I'm telling you, you really are one hilarious young woman. Um, you know, we here at Brick BCAT are uh, in the process of going to our new home. We're sort of in transa- transition. Um, and with me right now is one of the up and ups of this place, Matthew Allen. Matthew, thank you for stopping by on this very interesting, abbreviated show of mine. Well, thank you very much for having me, Cyclone. Uh, Let me ask you, first of all, how's the move actually going? (laughs) Well, the move is uh, just about done. (laughs) Uh, Underline just about. Um, The administrative offices moved back on August 23rd. We here at the Community Media Center moved back uh, two weeks later. And uh, Brick House is officially open for business as of October 3rd. Right now it's October 23rd. Uh, and uh, we're good to go. Uh, and I've actually checked out the uh, our new home, and the r- rumor that I heard is our s- new studio is that much bigger because, um, well, let's just face it, I've gotten really fat, <laughs> and uh, I can't fit in here anymore. <laughs> so they had to shell out the money to buy me a bigger studio. <laughs> Um, seriously though, it's, I, th- I think the new studio is absolutely fabulous from what I've seen. Oh, yes. A- and the, the area is better. There's a lot more to do in the area than here. Mm-hmm. 
there's a lot more restaurants for me to get even fatter. <laughs> so you guys are going to need a bigger lot in about six months. Um, with, with the new shows, um, one of them in particular, BK Live, mm -hmm. you're handling. Oh, yes. So tell me about it. Uh, right now I'm serving as floor manager for BK Live, which is a... We, this is a daily show, uh, Monday through Friday, uh, produced by Brooklyn Independent Media, uh, which is the professional side of producers that we have at uh, BPN, formerly BCAT, now BPN for Brooklyn Public Network. Um, so I work as floor manager. Of course, I have to make sure I'm doing everything right because as your instructor, I would hate for you to pass by the window and see me not doing everything I, I, I taught you and all of our crew here. Um, I pr I've produced a segment uh, for the show uh, on Brooklyn Jazz. Uh, next week I'll be do producing a segment on two projects going on in November, both of them having to do uh, being Stevie Wonder themed. And uh, in the meantime, I continue my work with uh, free speech services uh, and uh, teaching courses, which will start up again on the second week of November. Now on the topic of those classes, you're hands down one of the best in teaching. No. no, seriously, ladies and gentlemen, I kid you not. If there's an Oscar for teachers, he has to get it. <laughs> you like down. me. You really like me. You know, I, I talked in the opening monologue about Kardashian getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He gets one first. Nice. Uh, but with the classes, d there's the in-studio production classes, there's editing classes. Mm -hmm of which I can't take because I'm not smart enough. Oh. Um, but are, is there going to be classes added to the itinerary list of, of let's say, sort of like, like a mentoring program okay, well, to help other stu students, helping other students along? Well, um, here's what I know so far. Uh, as I said before, the studio class that um, I help instruct uh, will, begin, will be beginning again November 11th. Um, right now, since we've moved back to uh, what we call Brick House, um, we have started uh, our editing class, and we've transitioned. We are no longer teaching Avid Media Composer. We are now teaching Adobe Premiere Pro. Yay! So for those of you who have been certified in Avid, we still have Avid available in our edit suites, but we also have Premiere available. We are continuing to teach our field class, we are also teaching the field class in satellite locations at King's Highway Library and at the New Lots Library. So you'll be able to get your certification at both libraries. We also teach um, web classes and short form video classes at both libraries and at Grand Army Plaza. And you'll be able to sign out field equipment at our King's Highway and New Lots locations if you are certified in the field. We do also have an audio class, advanced audio class coming up. Um, that we're going to be implementing as well as um, the revisiting of our secondary studio class for directing. It looks like I'll be taking more classes now. <laughs> um, Brickhouse, is, would you say that that's kind of maybe sort of named after a certain song? Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Um, in fact, um, the after party, uh, Brickhouse is having its first uh, gala since we've rechristened cre christened the building. And the after party is called the Shake It Down after party, which is from that the famous bridge of the song Brickhouse by the Commodores that Shake It Down, Shake It Down now, Shake It Down, Shake It Down. There's actually an asterisk on the fly that says, This was taken from the Commodores Brickhouse. <laughs> so, yes, um, it, we have been playing around with it a little bit. I think. I may have to show up with like a 1976 Mike Schmidt afro, <laughs> white on white, silk outfit, <laughs> if we could find one that fits me. <laughs> Maybe like a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man outfit, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But uh, Matthew, I want to thank you once again for stopping by. I, I really appreciate Cyclone, all your help. It was absolutely my pleasure, and uh, congratulations on the success of your show. Thanks a lot. And now I hope you guys have your dancing shoes back on because once again, here is Andrew Kritzov. And this song about love girls. You wait. What are you waiting for? You say alone, so beautiful. 
Try to get all you want. Try to get everything. Try not to see as your life passes through the sink. Every morning, this is the only way for us to fill this black hole in our hearts. And no way for me to live through the days without you. In this recursive nightmare's nest, we're lonely zombies seeing their past, recalling the days when we used to hit each other's hearts. You're part of the crowd, buying souls for your soul. It's not true, you sold it out. We can only keep memories, memories and regrets, but we can't be honest. Traveling leads, you won't tell me you're in love. Let your sacrifice back. Stop wasting my lives and tell me what to feel. Because this is the only way for us to fill this black hole in our hearts. And no way for me to live through these days without you. In this recursive nightmare's nest, we're lonely zombies seeing their past. Recalling the days when we used to hit each other's hearts. Uh, uh, each other's hearts. We can only keep memories. We can only keep memories. in our hearts and no way for me to live through these days without you in this recursive nightmare's nest we're lonely so we see their past recalling the days when we used to hear we used to hear Well, that was really good. Thank you so much for showing us your musical talents. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Um, so how long have you been playing? Uh, actually, like for seven years, but uh, uh, I'm singing in English like for one year maybe and writing songs. So let me ask you this. Is there a difficulty for you going from Russian to English, English to Russian? Uh, or would you like say it's Completely smaller? different ways, you know. It's like completely different types of thinking. So it's different to create some music in different language. Musically, who would you say uh, influences you? Um, like classic rock and some more pop punk bands, like, I don't know, Alta Law and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Once again, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate yeah, it. Well, thank you for this opportunity. No problem, no problem. Well, that brings us to our headlining comic. Ladies and gentlemen, he's an absolutely hysterical guy. He is Reef. Thank you, thank you. All right, so guys, Cyclone's actually 120 pounds. There's just a lot of cameras in the room. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, back in high school, I was so stupid, my GPA said slacker. I applied to college, and they sent me a text message. It said no. <laughs> yeah. When I, took the pl when I took my placement test, it said delivery driver. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom said I would never amount to anything. I've been doing this for about three years now, okay? And my parents still think I go to NYU on a full scholarship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's that bad. Nobody ever wakes up and says, I want to be a stand-up comedian. Your life has to be that miserable that one day you say, I'm going to take all this messed up stuff and go make fun of it. And make fun <laughs> of it. <laughs> stand-up comedians actually become stand-up comedians. So, I was recently coming here on the bus, and uh, I saw a bunch of kids, and they were talking about getting locked up, and how they're squatters, and this, that, and the third. And the funny thing is, I'm looking at them, and I'm like, all right, they kind of look like hippies and bums and stuff. 
And then the one chick calls her mom. And I was like, how are you a squatter and you call your mom? <laughs> so as I'm coming on the subway, I see they, they get off on, in, uh, what is it, Manhattan. And the funny thing is, I realized and I, I thought to myself that when you live in Jersey, your parents kind of want you to stay off the streets. They want you to go to school and things like that. When you live in the city, it's a whole other concept. When you're a kid, they want you to get all well-rounded and things like that. I don't know how well-rounded you can get by squatting in other people's houses. <laughs> Jersey is <crazy. laughs> <Just saying. laughs> Well-rounded, the other state, it's a felony. <laughs> um, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I watch a lot of porn. And uh, when I do, I'm not like your regular guy where, you know, I just hop on the internet, find something, and just go at it. I like to set the mood. I dim the lights a little bit, throw myself a nice bubble bath, you know what I mean? Light a couple scented candles, have, the, uh, have my, you know, my lotion ready, usually lilac, maybe some, you know, vanilla, something like that. Throw on some Luther Vandross, you know. Luther Vandross. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Uh, and the funny thing is, I hear a lot of these crazy masturbation stories at where I work, all right? And that's Pub 46. If you don't know where it is, don't go there. All right? It's like anti-Walt Disney. It's where dreams go to die. <laughs> <laughs> and you see the weirdest things ever. One time I yoked this kid up. And if you don't know what yoked up means, I choked him and threw him outside. And what did he do? He turned around, looked at me, and said, hey, you, I'm going to shoot you in the face. <laughs> 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 His cousin was borrowing his gun, or I don't know what it was. But I looked at him, and I was just like, all right, buddy, if you could remember that in six months, and you come and find me. And then he went and said it to the cop, and he got locked up. So I was like, yeah, I'll see you in six months. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, life's been great, though. Life has been great. You know, we're going through this recession, and now everybody's at my level. And it's great. Nobody has money. We just got food stamps back. Things are awesome. And then Obama wants to throw in Obamacare. I was fine with the method I had before, okay? When I break my leg, what do I do? It's duct tape and some plywood. And I was fine with that. And now he's like, everybody's got to get health care and this and that. So I said, fine, let me hop on the website. The server crash. Joe. <laughs> 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 you guys have been great. All right, my name is Reef. You can catch me on YouTube. It's Mr. Reef, 1991 word. Thank you guys. Holla at your boy. So that puts a wrap on this abbreviated show of mine this month. I want to thank my guests that showed up. I also want to thank the hardest working crew in America, you guys. And for all of you at home, thank you very much for watching. And thank you for not leaving your TV screens and answering the door while kids want tricks or treats on this Halloween. Okay, for future information on the Cyclone Variety Show, please like us on Facebook at the Cyclone Variety Show. And until next month, I'm Cyclone saying, God bless America. <laughs>